This is Eddie Hearn, you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? So some really, really good news has just been released. And that is Tyson Fury has finally vacated all of the belts that he held, which I believe was the WBO, the WBA, and the IBO belt. The reason why this is such good news is now there is no more of a holdup when it comes to making Anthony Joshua versus Vladimir Klitschko. Now that Tyson Fury has vacated the belts, we should get an official announcement for that fight very soon now. Um, we already know uh, David Hay, he just recently said that according to his sources, the fight is already finalized, but it hasn't been officially announced yet. So I think we will get an official announcement very, very soon. This is excellent news, guys. This is excellent news because Anthony Joshua, who's been knocking out everyone who ha looks very dominant at the heavyweight division, but has not fought a heavyweight on the level of a Vladimir Klitschko. We are going to see how Anthony Joshua deals with a guy at the highest level. Can he dominate Vladimir Klitschko? Can he even beat Vladimir Klitschko? Can he deal with Vladimir Klitschko's power, his jab, his punch and grab style? How is Anthony Joshua going to deal with Vladimir Klitschko? If Anthony Joshua can do something to Vladimir Klitschko that Tyson Fury couldn't do, like stagger him, like knock him down, like knock him out, it would be very, very impressive. And it would be the biggest win for any heavyweight prospect in the heavyweight division right now. So I'm really looking forward to watching that fight. I may even go to the UK and cover that fight live. If it comes to fruition, we'll see. But that's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. This is Bobby and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Love that. <laughs>